There's no place like Hendrick Martin. It brought love. It brought a lot of people together, people who had nowhere to go, people who celebrated me, people who identified as me, with me. It brought my transition out. It brought happiness. It brought me. Growing up, there wasn't an LGBT community where I was from. When I knew that it was time for me to transition, I wasn't going to be respected as trans. And that's how I found HMI. So I literally used to leave school, seventh period, and race here, ready to vogue all the time. And just seeing so many women of color, like, voguing, looking amazing. I just knew, like, it was family, it was home. And I just took that choice to say, I think I want to just come to school here. <laughs> I'm going to already be here. It's time for me to go where I can respect myself and learn how to love myself. If I would have stayed, I wouldn't be the woman I am today. There's no place like home. Here we go, y'all about to hear us loud, hear us loud. Come on, crowd, yeah, y'all about to hear us loud on the podcast. Ah, ah, y'all about to hear us loud, hear us loud, hear us loud. Y'all about to hear us loud. Ah, look, look. What's up? What's up? What's up, y'all? We what? are back. Hi. Yes, to so another high. motherfucking episode. You are tuned into the Hear Us Loud podcast. I am your boy, Karma Versace. I am the GNC, Yonsei and the Scots. And the legendary, she ain't little no more, Big Kim. And ladies and gentlemen, we have a special, special, special. guest. Special. The motherfucking queen mother herself. Introduce yourself, baby girl. Hi, everybody. I'm the legendary queen mother, London Mulan. Ah! Oh. The realest bitch nobody want to date with. The dynasty Her. is in the building. What's going on, Ma? How you feeling? Hi, y'all. You finally made it after ducking us for so long. I never ducked y'all. <laughs> <laughs> it was ducking boots. Boots with a capital D. It was y'all think so? Boots. boots. What made you think I was ducking? Because we asked you to come like three times and you paid it all three times. All three. Well, guess what? She's here, so you know what we about to do. Oh, yeah, we about, she to, do. So we we about to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Word. You ready for the smile? Yo, we, yo, I hope y'all ready because strap Light it. it. You we ready for the, it. You ready for Light the smoke? Light it. I want the smoke. Light it. Okay. All right, so let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. First, London, I want to say thank you for coming on. Of course. Um, can you give us a little background without dragging it so much, but give us a little background on your who you are, how long you've been in the scene, your, what are you legend for, because that's something that we, we need to clarify. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we need to clarify to the people. So just give us a little background on, on London. I've been in the scene since 2015. I started off voguing. Like, you know, everybody comes to the scene voguing. So I was like voguing down, HMI, all that gay shit. <laughs> and then, you know, Smarty said, you know, it's time to try something new. I went into realness. I went into face. Got the body done in 2020. Sex siren. Undefeated. Yes. Wait, so when you came out, Mulan was your first and only house? First and only. Loyal. Loyal. Very loyal. Very what made loyal. you what made you come to Milan and stay here? I came to Milan for a boy. Oh, <laughs> a butch queen. I had a crush on the boy that was in the house. And he was like, I want you to be a Mulan. I was like, I'm coming. <laughs> I'm in there. Yeah, it's a bust about it. Mm -hmm. I'm in there. I went because of the boy, but actually I got like stolen into the house in a way. I was supposed to be a Marciano. Treshawn knows. Oh. Will knows. I was supposed to be a Marciano. And you know oh, something Marcy, like Marcy um, back was something cute. transpired at the HMI Awards ball, which was like my first major ball, mm -hmm. where like I came out for a few and performance, and like the Mulan, all black, all black mm -hmm. cast suit, uh -huh. did the backflip. <laughs> yep, let's talk about it. <laughs> and then like the Mulan started chanting, like Akira, Smiley, they all, Khalid, they all started chanting Mulan. But you know when you when you're on the floor, you can't really hear nothing. So like I didn't hear nobody chanting. And then, like, somebody came up to me and was like, you're a fucking Mulan. Like, I'm just like, no, I'm not. Like, what the fuck is that? I was like, you know what? I'm going to Mulan now. I'm a Mulan. That's fine. You've mm -hmm. been there ever since. Wow. Ever since. You literally... Smiley did a classic Smiley You literally... Um, you've been there through the ups, the downs of Mulan, the beginnings, the endings, the... Mm -hmm. You know, when do you feel like was the best era of Mulan for you? Mm -hmm. I feel like when everybody left. When everybody got removed. The reincarnation. Mm -hmm. the, I feel like that's when that's I started that. to like really make my name for myself. Like, you know, I had nobody behind me, just me and my mother. We were just out there just like teaching me, supporting me. Like, it was just me and her, me and her, me and her. And I think that's when I really, you know, shined. Mm -hmm. 
Um, one thing I could say, because I, I like to compare you and Tanae, only about the, the loyalty aspect. They, mm -hmm. that They go to show you when you're loyal to a house, it plays a big part in your career. Yeah. London staying in Mulan and shining as the only girl at a point in time to really stand out in that house, not only for one category, but multiple categories, that's how you do it. That's Stop trying to go to a house and be fab, or because they have fab members, you feel like you have to go there. Go there and shine on your own because you will be a star when you do it like that. Mm -hmm. So no speaking of that though, because I'm a person who changed houses. Only so once. um yeah, only once. Um I got like four. But what do you what would be the advice from you to people who is just looking for something new and their current house that they've been <coughs> in for some time is just not doing it for them? I think you gotta check in within yourself. Mm hmm A lot of houses give the same advice, give the same stuff. Sometimes it's really just you. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I think I put a lot of pressure on myself, and so did my mother, but I feel like she's never, you know, steered me wrong. She's never told me no bullshit. She never put me in an awkward position. She never told me I had to do nothing I didn't want to do. And, and I think when you say your mother, you're referring to? Smiley. Okay. The Bro, shout out icon. to the icon, Smiley. Mm -hmm. But can we be, keep it a buck for two seconds? Because I'm a real ass bitch. Mm -hmm. It's about maximizing a person's ability. Mm -hmm. And not a lot of other houses know how to put, bring that out of you. Right. When you at the right house and they utilize you for what, you're, no what you actually no stand shade. for. Mm -hmm. I'm not just a one-trick pony, bitch. Right. But you got to want more for yourself. It starts with them. Who you are one place is who you are everywhere you go. Exactly. So I feel like if you just late at home and <laughs> you late. In ballroom, like if you late in bed, you late in the kitchen. Like that's really how it is. So I feel no like shade. me, I've always wanted better for myself outside of ballroom and in ballroom. So I feel like no other house could have did that for me but my own house, and or but me, I should say. And I will say she kind of is telling the truth because when being in the house, one thing I could say, London always even pushed for herself and for others to be better. And at times, you know, I I I will say I didn't get it. I used, to like, I used to be like London trying me like why is mm -hmm. she always trying me like that's just how I felt but then looking back I'd be like no shade she was just wanting better for me she just wanted me to be like no shade karma take yourself from this this level and bring it to the next level as far as everything be a full package and not half a package so looking back that's why I say Mulan I learned a lot from mm -hmm. being a Mulan mm -hmm. I really did and at first I did when I was there mm -hmm. I was I didn't get it I was like these motherfuckers is playing with me like <laughs> what is the shade mm -hmm. and then looking out and then becoming a father of another house, I was like, bitch. Right. And I knew you before ballroom. Yeah. So it was a little personal. Yeah, I, it really was. Because y'all know me, I'm extra sensitive. So it was like, when London being like my friend, I'm like, all right, wait, hold on. Mm -hmm. It's levels to this shit. Yeah. Now let me upgrade you. <laughs> I <Right. bet> you. <laughs> <laughs> when did you realize you were becoming an entity? Mm. Um, I feel like after I won my first 500 the groovy ball mm -hmm. I feel like that's when I really like when I came off a of face and I shook the whole room up I was like yeah I think I'm the girl I, I, I kind of disagree I felt like that was a, definitely a highlighted moment but I feel like the moment you became that like when people was like oh we really gotta watch out for London was Party Monster when you mm -hmm. and Milan came out there and ran right. through every fucking uh, body but, think, but no let's remember, two -two. you remember that ball I don't, okay, I don't, but I know you You remember the boy you were. You went out, it was um, out of state, and all the New York girls went out there, and you battled Simone and... Oh, um, Boston. Bitch. Chase in Boston. Bitch. Mm -hmm. That was at the party monster, though. That was, was lit for you? Yeah, yeah, that was way after. Cause yeah, I, she I, sent I, gotta, packing. I, hope you, I wanna find the clip, because I know we haven't seen that clip in a while, but mm -hmm. London, when I tell you, y'all had to be there. It was a moment, like, once again, London being the only person that we want to hold it down, and her and Milan came out there and held it down but I think, against like, one of the top female figures in that era at that time. You had Davina, you had Tutu, you had Belinda, you had Tanae, you had Beck, uh, Becca, Legacy. you had Leg Legacy, but you had the girls that was out, and her, the way she was on that night, that I felt like sparked the mm -hmm. Let's Watch London. I think that's when I solidified myself as a performance girl that night. Mm. I wasn't supposed to walk that night. I wasn't supposed to walk that What night. made you walk? Because Smiley told me I couldn't. We got red. Uh, we got red. Y'all say no, Smiley's yes. reads. We got red that night. Uh, we got red, like, that Wednesday at practice. Me and Milan got red because we went into Vogue. And, you know, we was tired and winded at practice. And she was like, y'all are not coming out. Y'all don't have it. Y'all are horrible. Y'all cannot walk. 
And she's like, actually, they're not walking. That's London, that's you're only like... walking realness. I was like, okay. And then the day of the ball, my mom was like, I already got my effect made, so I'm like, what the fuck, what's she telling me? <laughs> and I was like, okay, well, if you walk in, I'm walking, then we both gonna get in trouble. So you had to come as a Barbie that day, and you had with to come the with doll. the Barbie doll there. So I just grabbed a And your effect had to match the, the Barbie, Barbie doll's mm-hmm. outfit. Classic. So I just came with a schoolgirl costume, schoolgirl skirt, um, you know, white button up, and I like cut a white cloth, put it on the Barbie, cut a piece of my skirt, put it on the Barbie, and I just walked in, bitch, we just went ham. But like, I had to battle all the legends that day. Mm-hmm. I only battled legends and icons that day. I was like, wait, what? Trouble. How did you feel? Like the girl. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> like, the whole night, the, I, well, I won realness that night right. too. Mm-hmm. And I sure sent did. so many people packing that day that I never would have thought I would have. Like, humbly. you know, just humbly speaking, like you a lot of make it debatable. I was just doing it just to do it. Like, you know, I was just having fun, just being mean. So what did Smiley say? Because you proved her wrong that night. So I'm... Yeah, yeah. I, I really want to know because yeah. I like Because she Smiley... don't get proven wrong yeah. all she the time. Don't. I was like... I, I feel like she's still Reggie. I walked in... No. She was like, you ate it. But no, actually, I got red again. Yeah, I was going to say, like... <laughs> I actually got red again because I broke my nail. I battled Davina and she broke my nail. And, you know, if you wear acrylics, the whole nail broke off. And my whole nail was, like, bleeding. And I was like, I can't do it. I started crying. I was like, I can't do it. And then, like, Smiley sent everybody in the bathroom to come and get me. My father, Nikki, Milan. Like, like four people came in the bathroom to get me. And I'm just like, all right, I got it. I'll do it. Like, And you did it. I did it. And I had to sit Belinda. She left my house. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Congratulations. Okay. Um, who would you say was your rival for performance, realness, and uh, sex siren? I don't think I had a rival for performance. I, I don't I, not, not for performance. I feel like it was just only me. Mm. For sex siren, it had to be lovely. Shout, right. out, shout out to lovely Dior, and for what else? You said realness. Mm-hmm. For realness, it would have to be either Quana or Shayla. What's your favorite category to walk? Sex siren. Why? Really? Mm-hmm. Why? She's sexy. Why not? Um, because London is a glamour girl. Mm-hmm. But why not so face? Every that's what I'm saying. Because every yeah, day that's, that's she's glamour sex. I feel like face is too, it's too, like, it's, it's too up too here. Judgy. So, so let me keep yeah. it, let me, it's okay. Too, what? too judgmental, like? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to keep it a, a being, you know, I, I feel like I'm kind of like, you know, mm-hmm. is it because of the West Indian in you and you know, like, y'all very, are very sexy yes. and y'all like to be very sexy and, you know, y'all like to oh, show Oh, so she skin. was born with the sex yes. like, It's spirit. already born in you, no shade. West Indian girls are very sexy, like, they're, they're not scared to show body, they're not scared to... Put a little titty out there. You get what I'm saying? So because I seen a different that, side of you after, yeah, like, after you got your body done. Is, you is that like is, was that like it for you? Like I, that just I'm gonna get a different side of me too. I mean, I, I actually kind of lied. I actually like to Vogue. <laughs> Girl, <laughs> I, think, I think Vogue is. I think I do. I think Vogue is really my favorite. We still wait. But for like, I think like Sex Siren just it just she brings. Have I'm you over, have you worked legendary performances being deemed legend? No, not yet. It's coming soon now. How long you been deemed legend for now? Two years. For performance, London. What do you? What? No. Hello. Don't make me come across the table now. <laughs> <laughs> I gave these bitches two years. Now they're time. London got deep two years ago at Candyland Ball after she Please. wiped out the whole. The uh, whole can table. we talk about that moment? Like, come on, y'all know I know my shit. I, I don't yes, remember. That I know. was a moment. Y'all know I London know my had shit. Everybody, even if you wasn't a Mulan, chanting for her. On no the shade. Stage. Even if no you wasn't, I was a Mulan at the time. She was I, I, I tell her all the time. I said that's the first time I, I literally was like screaming for another house. Mm-hmm. Yo, so with the day that we got to the ball, I got to the ball. London was um, she walked realness, I believe, mm-hmm. and then she walked sex siren. She was reading me. I was reading you because my I was supposed to make your staff a sex siren. I was supposed to make your prop. Okay, remember you were supposed to bring it with like a. It was something. a candy kind yeah, of yeah, candy. So okay. I was supposed to make London's lollipop, and I was I was ignoring her. Because I didn't make it, and I knew she was. Gonna, <laughs> I knew she was gonna read me, but keep in mind, I just got into a fight the night before the ball. So now y'all know why karma gets red. I literally got. Into but why a fight. you wait until got, the night before to try to I make got, it? I got into a fight. I, well, because I started the rap, the the circular part. I just had to like actually decorate it and put my um my mm-hmm. creativity to it. But when I got into the fight, I was just like, nah, fuck this shit. Like I'm not. I'm not but you do that all the time. Bitch, I had a black eye. I don't. But you still made it to the ball to see. Right. No, I made it to the ball to still at least show my face and still support. You get with a black eye? I had glasses on. 
a girl. So you could have asked. Like, girl. In the moment, it happened the night before. So in that moment, I wasn't going home after I just had a black eye. Karma, it's karma. Okay. It's okay. We it's okay. I want to know if y'all, I, I want to know you wanna if know? you would have your shit and karma. a black eye would you go home. Ready? Ready? It would have been done. It Bitch, I, I got night, jumped. Not the night before the ball. Bitch, hold on. I got jumped. My hair pulled down. Had to go to the barber shop. Get a Caesar. Because the bitch wrapped up my motherfucking hair. Had to get up the next day. Do my hair. Get ready to go to school the next day and act like shit. Yeah, was but y'all know me. Pop. I, I keep look it real. I'm not. I cried the whole time in the barber seat. I'm going to keep it real. I'm like, it's no, it's no excuse, but it was just like in the moment. Yes, I was I was kind. I wasn't thinking about I that. I cried. I wasn't thinking about your lollipop in the moment. It's and fine. I felt bad. She ain't need it. She did, because she, she won. How did you feel that? Did you know you was getting deemed? Let's start there. No. But I feel like me, I'm so ditzy. I feel like a lot of people was giving it away the that signs. day. They were giving the signs that day. But I'm just like so oblivious to like what the fuck they were talking about. So I'm just like, I'm there chilling. like, And I noticed a lot of things went down that day. Like um, the house page wasn't there on Facebook anymore. Mm-hmm. So usually at the day of the ball, that's how we communicate. Like, you know, we write in the house page, like, this is what's going on. I couldn't find the house page. But around that time, we were getting flagged on Facebook for, like, you know, the nudity and stuff like that. So I thought our house page got taken this? down. I thought the house page got taken down. So I'm like, Smiley, the house page is gone. Da, da, da. She's ignoring me. <laughs> like, just ignoring me. So I'm like, okay, that's that. Then Tutu comes up to me. And she's like, you ready? I'm like... For sex, I'm happy. Yeah, like, bitch, what, what are you talking from? Ready for? Like, you know. And it was just, like a lot of people just like, you know, I saw these big flowers come to the table. So I'm like, whose flowers are these? They're like, oh no, that's for somebody's effect. I'm like, okay. Like it was just a lot of stuff that I saw, but I just didn't piece anything no, together. You. I didn't know it was for me. And then um, I came out, one, one. annihilated the competition one and, by one. And then did you just, cry? I, I did a little bit. You can see it in my face. I did a little bit. She woke down though, but that's naked. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> blame, like destroyed the panel. Blame Malik. <laughs> he made me vote. Mm-hmm. Um, was that also a good thing to see, like your father there? Everybody, like you know, the people that like, I'm not gonna say like you know raised you, but like also was there for your career to be there while you got deemed. It was good to see Malik on the stage, smiling. My sister Nikki making sure the crowd was mm-hmm. like clapping and stuff. Like it was really nice. Oh, that it was, was, that really, was really, really nice. I it was that. really nice because Nikki not only was London like emotional. You see, Nikki, Nikki was emotional for her mm-hmm. sister, and that I swear one thing I love about you, Nikki Milan, y'all sisterhood is something that inspires a lot of friendships. I say yeah. for me because y'all loyalty without even having to be in the same house, right? It's always been fab. Whether y'all was battling each other on the floor, right. whether it was like the bitch, big we three. hanging out, the big, the big three, like no shade. Would y'all ever team up? And walk a category together. That would be beautiful. I, I want Damn. to. I would Damn, love would to. So do you feel like anybody should walk after they come out? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I would love for the category to you be. You better like, hope I ain't on panel, cause bitch, I'm making sure everybody vote left. <laughs> I would. I would love for the category to be like face, sex, and performance. Who do you want for who? I would love Nikki, of course, for the face. You London for the sex, sex and Milan for the performance. Yeah, because Milan, but Milan or London could Wait, switch. what? It's it's they they the Fab Four. Kylie, oh, I had a runway to it. Yeah, oh, that would yeah. make it. Yeah, can't forget Kylie. Come on now. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of that, that, that's too that's too nasty. Now, how now did y'all just... how did y'all maintain in ballroom? Because mm-hmm. we all know friendships fall apart. They mm-hmm. the Facebook shows so. How did y'all maintain y'all sisterhood? Because at, at this point, y'all family is no right. friendship. So mm-hmm. how did y'all maintain that in a healthy way? Because I'm pretty sure y'all had your ups and downs behind closed doors, but only y'all know. Mm-hmm. So how did y'all keep that alive? I think we just keep it real. Like, yeah. we just keep it like family. Like, nobody can hurt my feelings worse than, like, you know, my your siblings, girls, my yeah. girls. And I feel like we read each other down. So it's like anybody outside of it that says anything, but it water off my back. Like, mm-hmm. it just means nothing. We just keep it real. Okay. Like, you know, if we have a problem, we speak on it. We don't hold it in for a month or two months, like how we would do other people. Mm-hmm. We speak on it right then and there. We'll laugh it out, cry it out, and then we back at it the next hour. Like, you know, that's really how we keep it in. That's fair. You know? And then sometimes really we keep it, we don't we, we don't personalize everything. You know, like me and Nikki, we don't really talk about our ballroom stuff together. And I can respect that. That's mm-hmm. like business. You feel me? So, yeah, like, I don't exchange those kind of conversations. No. Like- like no, like if she's walking, she don't say nothing. I don't thing. know. I don't know about her energy that she's walking. I don't have to ask her. You feel me? No, your girlfriend. And like we we are so in sync. Like even the legend at the Legends Ball, we both came out in black sequin. Like both came out in black sequin. Mm-hmm. Bitch, we see each other. Great minds think alike. Right. We was like, bitch, what? <laughs> like you know, so just like we don't. And that's how we don't clash. We just don't clash like that. 
Uh, well, speaking of the Queen Mother, legendary London, you had a ball recently. Shout out yeah. to her. Yes, shout out congratulations. to you. Congratulations on a successful ball, ball yeah. finish. Yeah. It was fast. I literally it was watched, hot. I watched the was whole hot. live. Mm -hmm. um, what happened? Shout out to you for uh, helping out with the ball. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Thank you. I had to. See, I told you I was watching the ball. My new Jersey mother oh. did that. I had to. I had um, to help her. Now, I do want to say I wasn't there for multiple reasons. Okay. State them uh, right now. Oh, wow. A. Mm -hmm. A. One. Uh, one of my team members dropped out okay. the day of. And it was one thing about me and how I just move when I'm walking the ball is if it doesn't go right, I'm out of it. Like, excuses. I'm not, I'm not, I'm B. not, hey, you could use it as excuses, but that just was my mindset. Like, I already felt like the original team that I had was, was supposed to be. Was it me. last minute? The second team wanted to be in last minute. So when that team fucked up, it was like, okay, okay well, maybe it's, it's not meant for me to walk. Mm -hmm. Like, and I take that as in, I would hate to go out there and give it my all. And then my team is given lackluster or they're not on the same energy. Or it could be vice versa. I might not be on the same energy because this is not who I originally wanted to be on team with. Mm -hmm. um, that was one. Two, I definitely did feel the way that I was not booked. To commentate? Yes. Okay. Um, Why do you feel that way? I felt... <laughs> if I'm gonna be honest, I felt more of a way towards London because me and London, like I said, London knew me before ballroom, before I ever joined ballroom. If we gonna talk the talk the Miss truth, yes, <laughs> WTO party, yeah, you was and, always there. Yeah. So, wait, so I have a I like question. Like to shake my ass. <laughs> <laughs> she definitely did. So, do you think it's because of the situation that happened at the mini ball? No, I wasn't booked prior to that. Was Way prior. He knew he wasn't booked from the Comic Con ball. He pressed me that night. He been knew. When the flyer dropped, mm -hmm. I was like, wow. Like, I, I felt some type of way only because. <laughs> it was like five different flyers. <laughs> and I was not on that one. <laughs> so, so that's why I was really like. I think, I think you should have got the message after flyer two, three. <laughs> but no, here goes. <laughs> I did. I did. So this is why I felt the way, though. Because. London hit me up and said, hey, can you do the mini lounge, the kiki lounge? Mm -hmm. The mini ball. The min the kiki lounge. It's not no kiki lounge. It's a mini ball. <laughs> the mini ball. The okay, so the now back gonna, ball. I gave on, back to the out. needy. Yeah. Now, if we're going to do that, to the community. Let me to tell the you community, why, right. Let me tell you why. There was more, multiple reasons why I felt the way. If we're going to be honest, and I still love London, this is not uh, me and London's going to feel a type of way, but I don't feel no type of way about London. This is how I felt in the moment. I felt like, damn, I'm not good enough to commentate y'all ball, but, you're good enough but I'm to good enough to do a mini ball. Karma. Hold on. Res respectfully understand what I'm saying. It's not like I feel like I'm my t like she don't think my talent is good, but it was like, damn, I've been doing mini balls for about five, six years now. No shade. I just did Mother's Day ball last year because of the fact that I came and Kevin didn't show up and I was asked to do the ball and we finished the ball. We did a good job. I ran the ball. There was no problem. But why you more mad at London? Because Quana, this Quana second ball, though. So. Right, but Quana already had a thing where she wanted Precious. I already knew that. That was her thing. She wanted Precious. So you feel like London should have fought for you? Or at least... I advocated. feel like London could have London could have gave me that chance. You get what I'm saying? To like how she kind of proved to Smiley, like, hey, you should have believed in me. Come on. And now look. You get what I'm saying? It was the same thing. I'm just looking at it was like a friend thing. It wasn't a ballroom thing. It was more of a let friend you, thing. Let like, me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I'm being as real as I can. What's to you? It's a time and place for energies. You understand? And your energy, your energy was welcomed. Even if it wasn't for the main event. The it was ball. for something. Which means you still was Thought about. For, not only thought about, accept it. <laughs> I mean. I, and once again, I like I said, I, I acknowledge the fact that she sees my talent. That's not the issue. Is it my turn? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is it my turn? Please let me whenever know. You, whenever you, whenever you ready. Legend. All right. So basically, you got to stop with the whining shit. <laughs> you got to stop with that, okay? I just feel like if you feel like you are too good for the mini balls at this point in your career, stop you could have declined. You could have declined. I would have I would have understood that and respected it wholeheartedly. But I just feel yeah. like I did. I teamed up with Quana and I had to put my two cents in this. Because this is Quana's ball. 
and she highlighted me this year. Last year was Pandora, mm -hmm. this year was me. And I felt like a lot of people were on the roster to commentate. But I went with what the people wanted. Exactly. The people the people wanted Kevin. Right. Because he was missing for Right. A and Kevin didn't show up last year. Right. And I was like, okay, well then who they want this year? They wanted Slinky. Slinky was busy. We couldn't right. get Slinky. Precious was already on it because Precious was on it from last year. So she, exactly. she already had her residency. Her spot, she yeah. already had her spot. But I was like, ooh, let's try Jukebox. He don't really commentate up here. Let's try Jukebox. And after telling the, you know, telling the community, like, hey, Jukebox don't commentate, the people were hyped for that. I don't really want to hear you and Maya at that ball because I'm like, y'all need to be walking. Maya got, Maya got her categories. You got your categories. It's okay to sit out certain balls and show the people why you are who you are. You don't got to be yelling on the mic all day. That's not all you do. That's not all you're capable of. That's Stop tea. your shit. That's tea. It's uh, like, are we? Are, it's, it, it's, you're not going to receive it now because you never I receive it, it now. Me and her had this conversation. I get what she's saying, but at the same time, we're not going to knock the fact that once again, you didn't feel like I was good enough to do the big ball. I didn't say that. But, right. Hold on. It's not about. Next what topic. No, no. See, thank you. That, this is why, but this is why. Thank I'm you. Having an issue. But thank but you. But also, but also, let's talk about how at the mini ball you stopped. Y'all let somebody else commentate. Start LSS at, respectfully, and y'all. At that the was my mini job. ball, you stopped commentating at the Next end because topic. you got into an argument no, with, with somebody. Because y'all allow y'all allow something that I found was so disrespectful. Y'all allow somebody that y'all did not book. Let's keep this in mind. We're talking about ball, not a kiki lounge. Cool. Y'all let Mark start LSS, and mind you, he called out the hottest girls in the beginning of the ball. Who, he wasn't even on mic. Y'all didn't even I didn't Mark. even know Mark started LSS. This is what I'm saying. Mark started the whole LSS. When I came upstairs, he already done caught down all the icons in the room. I didn't even know that. <laughs> so that was like, I was like, how, like what? And the excuse that I got was, we was banging on the window. Who told you that? Kwana? <laughs> right. Yeah, next. Like, like, girl, <laughs> next topic. So you want to talk what about What was your moment? Highlights from Mother's Day? Yes. Because I missed the ball I was doing here that day. So what's going on? <laughs> Give me hype. I think, like, it was so festive. It was so hot that, it like, the heat made it more festive. It made it more lit, more intense. Like, you think so? Mm -hmm. I think the heat is what really made it, like, fab. Honestly. Okay. Mm -hmm. I feel like the heat oh, made it fab. Like, the, like, people was out there really dying for that dip. <laughs> like, they was out there doing their biggest The one. floor was sweating, too. <laughs> Like slipping everything, like you know, seeing Samantha run, seeing Samantha run out the ball with her wig <laughs> on, like that was like super funny to me. Um, I think like seeing Tati make her little return, like that was fab, like that was fab. Um, seeing the girls with their pregnant bellies, that was. Oh cute. my god! See, I'm a realness girl. Right. Now that the category is over, mm -hmm. I was supposed to walk. Right. Bitch, you know how I was bringing it. How? Baby shower tea. Nah. I'm a twin. <laughs> I was coming pregnant mm -hmm. at every battle giving birth, bitch. For real? Y'all was going to carry. That would have ate it. That would have ate it. Explain that but to you me. Made the I cool literally, I would have I been like, fucking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and bitch, every battle, bam, another baby. Bam, another baby. <laughs> but what if you didn't make it to the end? What would you going to do with your baby? <laughs> <laughs> But I had six kids, bitch, on the scene. It would have been over. But congratulations <laughs> to Shanelica and Mylon Juicy yes, Couture. congratulations to them. Because y'all definitely carry a girlfriend. You ate it for me. Right. Shout out to my mom for coming out. Yes. She was beautiful. Uh, shout out to the um the Wayne girl who came out with Kai. That little oh, storyline. Azani. <laughs> Azani. So do a we moment. just got to team up with people and just make moments, keep making moments? I mean, me and Shock got in engaged in Atlanta, so <laughs> don't think we ain't got a wedding coming. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Because so that I just was feel like that moment was fab. Like, but that's, that what the, that's fab. the definition of every fam queen needs that butch queen. That... <laughs> <laughs> that what? That what? <laughs> that... <laughs> if he don't compliment you, what you doing with him? That storyline from, like, your moment... In the past, beautiful. so now that was just beautiful. Like they definitely ate that. She did her big one. Like she's definitely like the moment girl right now. It gave me. traditional. Like it gave traditional. Like I live for that. Shanelica, Mylan, congrats to them. Like they really ate it up. So was there anything that you felt like happened that you was like a little uneasy about at the ball? Yeah, I think like the like 
the ten person panel, the adding to the panel, mm-hmm. like a lot of things wasn't really uh, they were out of my control. But I'll take responsibility because I should have controlled it more. Mm-hmm. But you know that was my first ball, so you know I'm learning and I know what to do next. You know next year, so I think the ten person panel thing was like my mistake. Quanta promised certain people on the panel, but if you didn't buy a table, you were not supposed to be on the panel. Okay. Mm-hmm. I think um, commentators switching categories that is not allowed mm-hmm. like I'm not here for that and I'm not somebody who will sit there and let bullshit go on like I'm gonna speak on it I'm gonna be stern about it but like you know it was super hot in there and also we were getting threats about the building being shut down and stuff like that so I wanted to make sure outside wasn't to finish the yeah ball. I wanted to finish the ball because it's bad enough that it's hot we in this gym we started late oh wow mm. and oh, you wow. know so I wanted to make sure my ball finished so it finished before time. Mm-hmm. And guess what? Happy gay month, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Be who you are for oh, your oh, parents. Well, since it's gay month, what gender are you feeling this month? That was cute. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um. I feel like I'm every woman, you know? Ah, I'm feeling it. I want to get back to the ball, though, because I want to talk about something that was controversial that a lot of people felt like it was unfair that you mm-hmm. Kwana allowed. Okay. Tati winning okay. after only walking one cat, right? Mm-hmm. And because um, I was on the panel, right. and we noticed that she only walked one cat. Right. And we brought it to Precious. Mm-hmm. And Precious told the judges specifically, well, Kwana let her through. There's nothing y'all can do about it. Right. So when that happened, we all gave, oh, okay, tens. Mm-hmm. No, so y'all should have stuck by y'all guns and chopped her. No, but what, that Kwana what, what would be the, the ball point thrower. if it would have been overruled, though? Yeah. It, then that, that happened. You it was, it saying, happened like, before we even said anything. That's the thing. That's the thing. Then when y'all go, well, tens, you get what I'm saying? Y'all basically saying that y'all agree. No, listen, Precious listen, told listen. So, Precious so said. I, I watched it. I saw everything that happened. I watched the live. I was watching it clear as day what happened. Mm-hmm. I saw what happened. What I'm saying is not one of y'all still said, though, it's still a chop. Mm-hmm. Y'all let Precious say what she said. And y'all just back down. No, we didn't no back sense. down. That if Kwana, no if Kwana if already told that, them to let to it rock. The judges, the judges should have waited. They should have waited for clarification from y'all. No. Because no. I would have asked y'all. I would have not. I would have been like, pause the beat. Lunge in a corner. They but, wasn't in the building. But Precious said that Kwana said Literally. that. Literally. So it was no but, need to question it if Precious said Kwana said it. It was said already. But did Kwana say it? Yes. Yeah. So. Yes. Yes, that's cool. Yeah. They approved it. As so it the overall mother of the house. She missed the category, we get it, but she got pushed through, which mm-hmm. means she still qualified because of her credentials. Mm-hmm. So that's not even an argument. <laughs> no, it, it is. It is. It's not. It's still an argument because you had other people that, like, no shade. Shout out to the legendary New York City mother, Keats Louboutin. She was correct with her post and what you she said. said. The, you said the legendary? She's legendary. I mean, not no. Keats. Uh, Everybody Kelly. was legendary. Kelly. I met Kelly. I met Kelly. Yeah, I heard about that. I met. <laughs> you, 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 I met. Yeah, I heard about that. You ain't like that. Uh, I wasn't booked. Everybody being legend that night? I wasn't booked. I so lo- what does that mean? I love that. I love that. I, you no, know why? Because everybody it. was equal. Now, right. if that would have gave right. I icons, that. bitch, I would have been stopped. I, I would have stopped the wig, bitch. I'm going my way, bitch. LSS saying icons, I bitch. I need that. that. I love that. That was cute, and it was a surprise. At first, I wasn't with it. I'm not going to lie. At first, I was Whose not idea with was it? Qantas. Okay. Exactly. At first, at first, I was not with it. I was like, no. It's I feel like I feel like we begging at this point. Like, you know? But like as I sat on it, I was like, okay, that could be cute. And as I watched it, I was like, bitch, hell yeah! Like it was. LSS fab. is cute. And, was, nice. and then to see like certain people was so humble about it, they was getting called as legend. It was like, what? I'm not legend, bitch. Get up. Yeah. Get up. You're a legend tonight. Yeah. And I feel like that's what really like set the tone for the ball. And that's what mothers like do. That. That's what mothers do. I like that. that. Nobody's mm-hmm. better than anybody. Exactly. You felt like that was a way of them still giving back to the community. It, always. Mm-hmm. 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 Agreed. Thank you. The energy. I feel like if he was there, he felt the energy. Mm-hmm. The energy. And the heat. Like, be, I got there late. Calm down. So I, I got there late. I was stuck in traffic. I do apologize. It was coming to school. You were parking for like 20 minutes. You, you lied for 20 minutes straight? No, my car situation was nothing like that. But the 
energy. It was sweaty. It was fab. From when I walked in, I hurried up. I thought when I got mm -hmm. obsessed. And when Precious, like, everybody's legend, like, everybody felt this. Mm -hmm. I just want to say that. Congratulations. Yes, thank you. Thank you. That whole day was stressful for me. That whole day. I, you were stressed out leading up to it. was your first ball. Mm -hmm. that, everybody was late. Everybody was late. That's ballroom. Mm -hmm. So now let's move on to the next day. Latex. Okay. Oh. That's no. it. That's all yeah. Mm -mm. We gotta go. We gotta go back. There was something that happened before her ball. Before oh the, the cunts! Oh my god, the cunts was fighting. Oh my god, was outside. The cunts was fucking Not fighting. Even at <laughs> the GNC ball, Grace gotta, Jones ball. Yeah, we gotta we gotta unwind. We gotta talk about that. Okay. You know, as the Mulans represent the Mulans, we have to give out. A that statement. was Wednesday. No, I don't know what day that was. I feel like that was on a Friday. Yes, it was on a Friday. Yeah, I feel like it was on a Friday. Um. So. The controversy was about, right, there was a list. Okay. A GNC. Let me say that. <coughs> a GNC list. And Grace put people, certain oh. GNC people on the list. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Chop. hi yeah. Yeah. So, um, we had three weeks to prepare. Mind you, Mother's Day was out already and Latex was out already. So, we had three weeks to prepare, right? So, she put all the GNCs on the list. Mind you, everybody she put on the list was don't identify as GNC. So, um, it was a lot. Like, the day before the ball, we realized, I don't know if everybody else did, but I realized specifically that Mimi got added to the list. Okay, she got added. Um, it was a lot of controversy. Um, do you want to start no, it off? No. Okay. <laughs> so, um, it was a lot. It was a lot going on. Um, I got chopped. Was ever mad at the chop. That wasn't, you know, my mm -hmm. forte, whatever. Um, so I just, I'm going to speak on my piece because mm -hmm. Grace went live on her platform. I'm saying it on mine. Right. So, um, I felt like what Grace did was, it was very disrespectful to the current GNCs that's been putting on for GNC. Mind you, we're going to put the disclaimer out that that ballroom still doesn't understand GNC. Okay. Let's say that. So, um, I felt like it was disrespectful because you put these girls, these young girls on this list and they're coming out giving their best and they're walking out and their best is being looked at as if they wasn't on the list. So she was chopping. The pan she was allowing the panel to chop. And from my understanding and ballroom's understanding, when you're on the list, you're not eligible for a chop. Right? So I felt like even if I would have got through, even if I wanna even if I would have won the thousand, I felt like for you to sit there and in a moment when GNC is being new and being I, I wanna I wanna say forced on the ballroom community. Um, we still have a lot to learn about it. So for you to sit there and watch everybody just obliterate the lineup, to me, it was very disrespectful. And I felt like she could have stood up. She went live and she said she can't overthrow the judges. I don't understand how when you're the reason the judges are sitting there. Mm -hmm. So who fought? Um, <laughs> attempt. You, it wasn't a fight. It was an attempt. So who? Me and London. Because... Because I came out, Dickie chopped me, he was gonna bring me back, everybody gave me their tens, then Gillette chopped me. So it was it was a big thing. Two GNC chopped you? No, just Gillette. Just Gillette. No, actually it was Dickie. Dickie had Dickie chopped started first. it. Dickie yes. chopped first. So why? He said it wasn't over. Mm -hmm. Why? He just said it wasn't That's what over. He, said. he just said Again, it wasn't over. I love you, Dad. You was my first father ever. Before I was a <laughs> Why? It happened. I paid it. If you watch the clip, I literally walked mm -hmm. away. Paid it. Mother. I mean, I just wanted to know why. Like, mm -hmm. you know, like, me and Yante spoke. Like, you know, that wasn't her best. Right. I agreed that it wasn't her best. So, you know, but I have to ask these questions as a mother. Like, you know, just why. And, you know, you can ask Dickie. I didn't come at him aggressive. Mm -hmm. Or in the clip, I didn't come at him aggressive. I just wanted to know why, you know. And that's it. He said it wasn't over. We took it as that. And we walked off, you know. And... Dickie, you know, the icon, he came and helped and fixed, the, you know, what he thought was a chop. He yes, fixed he it, did. altered it, and I respect him for that. But then when we came back out mm -hmm. for the retens, well, it shouldn't be retens because if it was already um, overruled, it, it straight went into battle. straight into battle. So I don't understand why we went back into tens, but then we went back into tens and 
I see a chop again, or I hear a chop again. But, you know, I'm thinking it's still Dickie chopping mm-hmm. because I thought he was being late. So, you know, keeping his chop. I didn't even know that Gillette chopped at that moment. Because um, if you watch the actual footage, a lot of people have it, a lot of people don't. But if you watch the actual footage, I'm still, like, yelling at Dickie, mm-hmm. thinking that Dickie was the one who chopped. Well, until, I'm the one talking to Gillette. And, but, and you look over my shoulder, like, Yonce and Gillette are having a whole argument to the left of me. So I'm like, what? Why are they arguing? Until so I hear Yonce like, you're the one who chopped me. So that I'm getting into the conversation and I see the whole like, okay, you chopped me. Why would you give me 10 to then chop me? Rah, rah, rah. And I'm just like, all right. You know, I actually tried to grab the mic from Precious to read the dog shit out of Gillette. <laughs> but the mic was turned off. <laughs> the mic was turned off. So so I was like, okay, fuck, I missed my moment. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, whatever. Then, like, you know, I'm like, all right, let's just disperse. Like, you know, let's finish the ball, whatever. But then, like, you know, in my eyes, I saw violence because I see Yonce walking away. And then I see, like, Gillette, like, pushing people, like, get the fuck out my way. Like, da 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 da. I said, you about to run, run down on my New Jersey mother. And I was just like, you know, like, don't do that. Like, you know, so in my eyes, I saw violence. Like, you know, I could have read it wrong. I'm going to be a real woman. I could have read it wrong. But in my eyes, I saw violence. Mm-hmm. You don't do that. And what you did was late. So, I gave. That's why you, what I gave. Why, you giving, it, why you giving it up like you fight? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, you know, I just. And hopped like, on the stage like she was fighting one man. Bitch. Yeah. Because I would have did the same. And, and I don't. No shade. I don't condone the bullshit. Like, right. I don't. I don't. I'm not a violent person. I don't condone the violence. But, but I want to know why. Like, at that point, I didn't want to know. <laughs> like, at that point, who gives a fuck? <laughs> like, you know, it's just like, you did something late. And we already had something personal three weeks prior to that incident. So it was just like, you know, listen. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, even that day, like, she was doing a lot of weird stuff that day that a lot of people don't know. Like, creeping in the bathroom. Like, you know what I'm saying? Trying to talk to me, knowing that I don't want to talk to you. It was a lot. I should have just... Smiley told me not to walk the ball. I should have just listened. Um, But I wanted to walk it because, like I said, it's new. And I felt like, as one of the representatives of GNC, Mm -hmm. why not just do it for the GNC girls? But it wasn't the right mo- the right moment, and we wasn't, you mm-hmm. know, taken care of. And, so. like, for the record, I had a lot of respect for Gillette. Like, if you know me, I'm a nice person. I'm a respectful person. I don't kiki with old bitches. I don't kiki with old icons. Like, that's not, like, I don't, I, don't, I don't kiki with them. Like, you know, I'm 25. I'm young. So, like, we're not in the same lane. We will never no. be friends. We will never be equal. You know, I say my hellos. I say my goodbyes. I pay my respects, and that's it. So, and I had a lot of respect for Gillette. Up until that moment. Mm-hmm. I was and that's like, the problem. Y'all bitches out here thinking y'all grown. Bitch, I was 20 and I said, bitch, I'll be 21 in grand January, bitch. AJ nothing but a number. Stop thinking y'all bitches is grown. <laughs> Hanging around these old bitches right. and feeling it. Right. Now you feeling it and you look late. Proceed. No, that's, that's just what happened. I mean, mm-hmm. I just let it roll off my back. So it is what it is, you know. Next time I come out, be prepared to see something else. Right. So, um, London, let's be nosy, right? Okay. Let's get into the love of the life of yours. It's so, non-existent. Like, let's so, get into your preferences, your type. What, what's going on? And like, pretty. Yo, fuck me. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Who's so on just, top? Ooh. You. <laughs> you into that? <laughs> I so, think so. No love life, no. Mm-mm. Why you think not? I'm too I'm too in ballroom. Like ain't no love in ballroom. Why you got to find love in ballroom? Cuz that's the space I'm in. Like I feel like if I was in any other space maybe, but like I'm heavily in ballroom. So like I'm surrounded by nothing but trans women, like you know, butch queens, trans men. So it's just like you know, and we all Trishas. Like you know, we all want to <laughs> do what the fuck we want to do. So it's like you know, I'm never gonna be committed to anybody in while I'm in ballroom right now. Mm-hmm. It's I like act bad summer. Exactly. Do right? you feel like you would leave ballroom for love? No, I would not. I have fun. Dr- like this is where I come to dress up and be glamorous and be who I really want to be. So it's like, why would I leave? Why would I like? But what if he's giving you that? The same thing. Or, or she, because she just said he, pretty. She, them, they, <laughs> give, you, of BOT. <laughs> give you that same glamour and glitz. I can't leave behind what helped build me. 
I can't leave that. I can't put that behind me. I'm sorry. Not so yet. you love Ballroom? Yes, of course. So you found your first love? <laughs> I guess you could say that. I hate, the the ball shit. Ball. <laughs> I hate the shit. <laughs> so, okay, we wrapped it up on the love thing. So, who are some people you just, it's just like, you just don't see it. Like, it's just like, girl, give it up. I don't know. I don't, really, I don't see nobody, my love. Nobody meaning who? Like, in your lane, like, legend or? I just don't, I don't see nobody. Like, nobody? Mm-mm. Like, I just don't see nobody. It's just me. Karma, you see somebody? Hmm. <laughs> I see dead people. <laughs> <laughs> you might need to get him checked. It's fine. I don't know what's happening. You see, who, what about you, new legend? Legend of legend. Y'all want to, yes, give us some advice or something. I knew that it came for so long. Yes, <laughs> yes. Like, for like, so long. Remember when that party I threw up town? Yes, I knew that it came so she had blue hair, blue lipstick, blue <laughs> eyebrows. Like... Like Those everything blue. No, okay. So let me tell you, I grew up uptown as a little ooch ooga, and this thing, girl, ooch ooch ooga. This <laughs> thing, and I had to fit in. This thing, I had to do the color and the poom poom shots. This mm-hmm. thing, well, I was doing my big one. This thing, listen to the music, smoking the weed. I was fitting it. She was like every color was head to toe, head like to toe. head to toe. She had the blue fade, blue lipstick. <laughs> like she was just beat. And she had like earmuffs and shit. Like she was just like, <laughs> no, no. Remember that first day I transitioned, mm-hmm. and we took that picture, and I had that um blonde and thirty wig mm-hmm. going. Were you already transitioned by the time? <laughs> Were you already transitioning by the yeah. time she mm-hmm. was? Mm-hmm. What? Cause I, yeah, because she came. Her first day was like when she came to um Nicole's party. And she had like the blonde synthetic like slick mm, match. Slick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I still got the picture. I still got the picture. Yeah. What what made either one of y'all really. wanna blossom into y'all women's hair today? Uh, the growth. Like I seen it every day. Every time I took a shot, mm-hmm. I saw something change. Mm. Really? I lift for that. I think for me it was just like something was just missing. So I just had to like figure figure it out. I think for me, like, growing up as a butch queen, I was just like, okay, like, I wasn't one of those people who was like, oh, I always felt trans, like, because I, mm-hmm. I didn't know what that was. Exactly. Didn't know what gay was. Like, I'm from the Bronx originally, mm-hmm. so, like, I grew up very sheltered. Like, mm-hmm. you know, I didn't see gay people on my block, nothing but cunts mm-hmm. and playgrounds and the pool. <laughs> like, yeah. so it was like, that's what I was fucking with. Then, like, you know, I, you know, moved, and then that's when I started seeing gay people, met my sis Nicole, like, you know, met Milan at a party when the karma's parties like you know so it was just like you know and then like i met some like some street walkers like some hookers like you know oh. but wait it gets juicy like you know so i'm just like, all right like and then they came up to me and they was just like you're gonna be a girl they're gonna read me for this oh my god <laughs> they was like to me you're gonna be a girl you're gonna be a girl so i'm like why the fuck these prostitutes keep telling me I'm going to be a fucking girl? Like, like, I was like, why do you keep telling me I'm going to be a girl? Like, what does that mean? Like, you know, and like, these prostitutes, sorry, y'all, was like, was Tamaya. <laughs> the queen! <laughs> yeah. <Ooh! laughs> but like, you know, I I was young. I uh-huh. was like 14. Was around. I was, yeah, I was uneducated to everything, you know, but they were like sexy. Like, you know, like they was like fishnetted down, pum pum shorts down, like long blonde hair, like just beautiful. But all of that just read prosty to me at that time, <laughs> at that time. So do you feel like, real quick, before you, um, because that was the first example of what a trans woman was, do you feel like they played a part into who, who you are now? Mm, yes, in a sense where like, they were so beautiful. And when I found out that they were trans women, I was like, "That's you what you, that's Yo. you, that's the, that's that, that, there we go. You know that's what's the crazy what I, that's part? Me. That's you know me. what's the crazy part? Mm-hmm. You know it's my first trans woman I seen? Who? Savannah. That's why I'm being <laughs> For real? Yes! I watched her. That was my first mother. No, sh- me too. Mm-hmm. Was, I watched her, bitch. Shout out to Savannah. She, God, she came a long way. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. I just, that's yeah, tea. like, I knew, like, once I found out that they were trans, because they, didn't look trans to me mm-hmm. or didn't look less of a woman to me mm-hmm. so like once i found out they were trans i was like there you go that's the that's the piece of the puzzle that i was missing that's that's possible we yeah. could we could we could look like that mm-hmm. we could transition and be that yeah okay i want to be a woman and then that's, that's when that's when it happened and then obviously like being on instagram amaya scott came out mm-hmm. <sighs> She out of ma. And then I was just like, okay, boom. Like, there we go. Victoria. Victoria. 
She was the she's the best. Your twin. Oh my gosh. If I ever get a face you fan, I'm gonna look like an IMBU character. <laughs> no, for <laughs> it's, real. It's gonna look oh <laughs> I'm here for that. Good. Don't you have some businesses that you're working on or like stuff that you come on, get your stuff out there? Well, I mean, I do have a cosmetic line that just been like, you know, in construction for like the past like three years. Mm-hmm. Like since pandemic I was working on it, but you know, other gigs came into play and you know it's it's, it's cooking. Coming. It's okay. coming. It's cooking right now. So I think it'll come uh, on a later date right now. Just stay tuned for that. But as of right now, I'm just like, you know, Taking my pictures, getting my little mini Vogue bookends and stuff like that, you know? What's next for you? I think what's next for me is just happiness, healing. In what sense? Like overall or? Overall. Okay. Like finding like my own happiness, doing what I love, leading. Like, you know, I'm in this space where like, you know, I'm legendary. I have a house of so many different types of kids I'm leading. So I'm just, you know, I'm all about, like, you know, giving back to everybody right now. I think that's what I'm doing right now, just giving back to everybody, making myself available, being a Balenciaga. Mm-hmm. Like, that's really what I'm about How's right now. that? How's your mainstream? Fab. Fab. fab y'all fab. looked fab in y'all denim and um, diamonds Thank at you. latex. Thank you. Thank you. They Why you didn't walk latex? You won latex last year. I ha- okay, well, I didn't Vogue because, for those who know, I have a grade two tear in my MCL and my right knee. Mm-hmm. So, like, I cannot Vogue right now. I'm sorry, y'all. I cannot Vogue right now. I'll be back on the floor hopefully by winter. But I cannot Vogue right now. Um, I didn't walk Sex Siren because it was calling for partners. And I couldn't find a partner. And I just feel like at this point, like, I wanted an Alpha Omega. And they all was booked up. Oh, my God. All the Alpha Omegas was booked up. So. Was Alpha, Alpha Omega, Omega was with Alpha Omega. The al- this. What happened? Ladies and gentlemen, it's this one Alpha Omega. Her name is Kitten. Oh my god. You my know god. that. <laughs> <laughs> Anywhere she come out. Mm-hmm. She's just so bad. Mm-hmm. She went every time. It's she, un- she make it undebatable. Mm-hmm. That's body. You came out for your little sex um, ensemble at one of Jack Rumble Balls. But that was realness. And I'm going to tell you You something. look fat though. Thank you. It was calling for Moulin Rouge. We're on my soul, sisters. Mm-hmm. And guess what? Oh, so <laughs> I think I will walk Sex Simon or Sex Appeal in mm-hmm. the later day. Who you want? Who I want? Damn, y'all can't even battle. Y'all both are good. I want boys, girls, them days, however you want to take them. <laughs> I just know that when I come around, everything shut down. Mm-hmm. Right. Everything? Everything. Everything with capital E, everything. Right. Hi, <laughs> Rain. <laughs> what? Why you not talking, love? No, cause um, you over here stuck. What happened? You may be reigning champ. Of oh, what? What am I ready? Can you give me my roses? I'm always gonna give you people with their roses. What I mean is champ. You may be reigning champ, but oh, don't what? think I'm, I disappeared. Uh, is that a, this your second time <laughs> and your second episode challenging me? What are you feeling like, Kim? I want the Milans because you done did some fab shit. Thank you. You done did some fab. I want the, you made Milan a face house bitch and I've been away for four years and I died. Why were you gone for four years? <sighs> Love, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it I left ballroom for love bitch and I gagged so guess what I was at a level 6 now I'm back at a level 4 mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so I gotta get back up there so I seen was it, ba- was it hard balancing the two <sighs> it's going to be a challenge that I'm ready for with the house of Milan for a face let's do it I need it let's do it <sighs> so I hope you're there <laughs> I'm sorry, but you gotta get through me first. Legend to oh. legend. Oh. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh. Don't make me a double legend in one night. Yeah, but what's a double to a triple? Mm. The same thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get my mother. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. Don't I'm gonna get my Tati. <laughs> <laughs> what that mean? 
What you trying to I say? I owe her one. Yeah. All right. Well, guess what? I'm going to smoke her. Don't let your sister come out. What that mean? What that mean? London already got her. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Buki. We, but remember where it started from. Of course. Juicy. You just gonna keep saying stuff. I am. I'm, fuck, I'm never gonna shut the fuck up. Like, uh, it started from Juicy. I, no, no, but I'm coming. You should. I'm coming. I'm you coming should. for y'all. Mm-hmm. I'm letting y'all know what's war. Tap me first. Be there. Mm-hmm. Every ball. No, not, no, every, not every ball. See, that's the you problem. Not, every, not ball. every ball. So, exactly. So, you'll know when I'll be there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's put the hit out from now. Toy Story. Oh. I'll be there. Oh. <laughs> Was that an exclusive? Let's put the head out from now. Uh-huh. 10, 14. June, June 5th, Monday. 2023. Yep. But guess what? What you got? I'm going to shut the fuck up. Hold on. Kimberly Jones? Kimberly. Let me pencil you in. Pencil me. <laughs> <laughs> Am I in my book and schedule? Mm-hmm. Put Toy Story on the 30th? Third category. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Don't. Face our best dress. Which one are we doing? Oh. oh. I, I, I did, did three categories. Best dress ever. I did three categories in one night. Okay, so which one are we doing? We doing face. All right, got it. Okay. Got it. Okay. Got it. Okay. Got it. Okay. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all crazy. This weekend, can we talk about how tired we really all are from this weekend? I'm still out. <laughs> That's no, the boo. gag. I have to be. Like, it's the last night. OTA. I tonight. changed my wig for a time. Five. No, four. Yeah. Thursday for Mel. No, no, no. What colors? What colors? The first one was yellow and blue. Mm-hmm. Custom by, by Mel. I was two little Kims in one on Thursday. Friday. What did I have on fire? Ooh, yeah. yes, I had on my orange. You did. It was a bust down. Oh, fuck. Then I had on my red bob. K. Michelle. See, I was feeling sexy. Mm-hmm. Mm. And then I had on my black bust down middle part 30 inch closure. I love this hair though. This one? I love oh. this hair. Oh, the oh. The 36 I, brown. I, a chocolate bitch with chocolate hair, like just eats. Like I love this hair. How many times do you change up your looks? I mean, not. I'm like, if you get into me, I'm actually like kind of like the same. Like, you know, I don't know. I've been like, once I'm in my black, I'm in my black for a long time. And then once I'm in my red, I'm in my red for a long time. Like, I'm really just like, it's either blonde, black, or red. Everyone, I, I'm known for the red, though. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I love on you, though? What? Pink. <laughs> I wasn't even pink. Like, really? Like, one time. That one time you saw me in pink. Yes. Mm-hmm. You should do it again. I, I'm gonna do the pink again. Would I you just, ever do a I, shortcut? No, I mean when the face and the teeth is done. <laughs> when the face and the teeth is done, I don't know. I don't even do anything. I feel like I feel like everyone always associates me with like with Jamaican, mm-hmm. like you know. So I feel like once I put that shortcut on, it's bomba <laughs> <laughs> like, You know, like the minute I put the shortcut on, it's like they, they're gonna start calling me Spice Official. Like they about to drag it. You like, don't want you know, that. I'm running from the shortcut right now. Like I'm just hoping face don't call for a shortcut because I'm gonna be gagging. Maybe we should make so it. So don't gag. I'm not. gonna be gagging. I don't want no shortcut. Don't gag. If you knew me, you know I'm always addicted to long hair. Like long hair has always been my thing. Like So I got a question. You know you used to used to be the Riri of your crew. You okay. still the Riri? In a way. <laughs> In a way. I like that. In Riri a way. meaning what? Rihanna. Rihanna. No, I know, but why she the Riri? <laughs> Cause she had a whole red arrow when she first came out. She mm-hmm. the red eyebrow and everything. But also cause like we and we all had our own like type yeah. of bitches that we look like looked up to. Exactly. My girlfriend Nicole looked up to Nikki, of course, and I looked up to Rihanna. But like growing up, I did so many Rihanna looks. Like yes. I done did like the shaved side. Mm-hmm. I done did like the red. I did like the um the mullet. Like I you did, did a mullet? Yes. With the black <laughs> lipstick, I was like. <laughs> <laughs> like, I done done so much Wait, shit. Wait, we gotta get that fish and we gotta plug it. No, no, we have to. We have to plug no, it. No, no, no. No, that ever was a long time ago. That was a long time ago. Would you do a mullet again? Hell no. 
Wow. Well, actually, the, the mullets are kind of in right. They fab. Yeah, they're kind of fab now. But that's the shortcut with the tail. Yeah. But I got a question. Mm-hmm. You gonna curl it this time or crimp it? Curl it. <laughs> I ain't crimping it. Mm-mm. I'm gonna curl it. Crimp is ugly. Like, with a mullet, that's Uggs. You never... Um, it probably give, like, horse in the back. Yeah. <laughs> this is in the front, already in the back. <laughs> in the back. That's late. I'm telling you. So... Can I get a refill? Yeah, because there was nothing in that. What did you just take? I need a refill or something. You're embarrassing me. You, can you drink <laughs> yours up? Like, what's going on? You've I'm, been drinking all weekend. I'm sipping. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sipping. I, yeah, sip one more time. It's giving sip. There we go. That's how we do it here. My eyes are so blushed. Why? Is it because of me? <laughs> what? Is it because of me? I heard you had a crush on me. Is that true? Uh, first of all, back in the day, though. I don't do crushes. Mm-hmm. I do like love at first sight. Okay. So that could be like for five minutes or like four hours. Okay. So how long did mine last? Don't you have a crush on Kitty? <laughs> no, we're talking that we're talking about the past, not currently. Oh. Right. Come on now. Yeah, like that's your problem. What's my problem? You always want to blur um, blur out people' business. She just said with Kitty the bad bitch. Let's talk about your business because I'm about here it? now. What about it? Because you've been done. Right, so what's you tea? like to hide. Yeah, I don't you hide. Like to hide. It's the rock. I don't hide from nobody. Let's talk about. Do I have to list the niggas that Pretty you? Pretty brown eyes. White niggas with an S. <laughs> huh? Static. Oh. L. Oh, you scared now? Hold on, hold on. I got one more name. Karma. Stop. Stop doing. <laughs> stop doing. Yo, this bitch. So let me. Let me. No, no. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. Right. No, we was leaving her mini ball, right? <laughs> me and Karma's talk about the commentator situation we talked about earlier. <laughs> I'm walking to Wendy's. Everybody like, <laughs> you and Karma fuck it. And I'm like, what are you talking about? You're like, no, you want karma, y'all, I think. Like, what's going on? Wait, this bitch, like, uh, just tell uh, everybody that you want karma. Just fuck this so we can get over with. Wait. Why would she start that? My stomach. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Why would you start that? Karma face game. Because it was funny. Karma <laughs> face was... game. Uh-huh. Yeah, because out of all people, me. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it was just so <laughs> funny. Y'all have so, like, y'all have, like, a, like, a healthy toxic relationship like it's so funny and it was so easy to like put y'all two together and make people really believe it so like y'all had a conversation like it was easy to plant the seed and make everybody believe it at that moment karma like, no shade. i was like y'all like y'all saying karma fucking yeah, it was so easy it was so Ballroom easy was just like, the, the wendy's was upside down yes it like was. i told one person and they just traveled we walked, the we walked in it. they looked at us like that's one thing i can tell you about ballroom if you want to keep a secret in the bitch so don't tell nobody. They're going to tell somebody. They're going to tell somebody. I literally that said to so one lame. person, I, said, I think I said to Quan, I was like, Karma and I'm Yonsei fucking. She's, She's like, like oh, no. And then all of a sudden, this bitch coming in, pressing me like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I'm like, what are you talking like, about? They're like, you why are you telling people that we, I'm fucking? I'm like, he quiet. Why do you think he quiet? Stop doing, you got to say something. <laughs> You gotta stay young, like. Stop, stop doing that. Like, you know, karma, like, people, I think so. Karma. No, be fair. Karma, karma, karma. We know. We all know. We all know. We all know. <laughs> stop doing that, bro. Let's see. So. Right now, this is what we gotta we gotta wrap it up. We got a few moments, you know. Do I your moment of the week, my moments mm-hmm. of the week? This will be to have our little catchphrases. Like it's just certain stuff that you say a lot, and you just bringing it to anybody doing stuff, right? Mm-hmm. So my moment of the week, um, my moment of the week was my ball. My mother being there, we were skinning out. We was having a wonderful time. The ball started late and still finishing. Why well, started late? It's just Ali. everybody. Just as everybody was late. Everybody was late. The cameraman too. Yeah, Ali was late, but not just him though. 
Oh. Angel was late. Well, listen, everybody was late. Everybody was late. <laughs> and, you know, it it happens. Like, you know, it happens. I deducted pay, but it happened. That's how you handle business. Mm-hmm. I am going to say this. I'm here because of y'all. Right. I've been lit mm-hmm. every single day this weekend. So I appreciate y'all as much as y'all appreciate me. Mm-hmm. I see everybody. I don't remember everybody's name, mm-hmm. but guess what? We gonna love each other. And tomorrow, get the fuck out of New York. You ain't welcome anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Karma, do you have a bringing it to a bitch door stat? <laughs> I wasn't impressed all weekend. For real? Why? About nothing? Why? I don't know. It's just, I don't know. I just like, so I've been like going through my own stuff lately. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So it's like, um, I really don't care about nothing that nobody else got going on or what, like, right. you know. So being honest, I've like, like I said, I watched the ball. I'm proud of certain people that won. Shout out to my East Coast mother, Maya Versace. Right. My God, Pekisi shout out Slim Juicy, Pekisi right. Mulan. Right. Shout out to y'all for taking home grand prize. No shade. Well deserved watching the clips. Um, and highlights to other people that came out in one of their categories. Shout outs to y'all. Um, I just think, I feel like a lot of people are playing, even watching the clips. I feel like a lot of people could have came out that should have came out. I feel like some people have points to prove in there. It's just like, I don't know. I want the Kiki scene to get back to what it used to be when I first came out, bitch. The ball used to be, you didn't know who was walking. Yeah. When you went to the ball, you like, yeah. and then you see a bitch come out for tens, and you like, but how do you think this, it's going to get this back This time now, way? you see a bitch full effect is sitting on the sideline watching the ball, and then she come right off of her category, sitting there. I think it's not going to get back fight. to that. Because mm-hmm. I just feel like we, like, you know, the, the confidence level has grown. Like, we're not going to get back to that. Like, we want you to know we coming. We sending mm-hmm. hits out nowadays. Like, yeah, but we want, you, don't, like, I don't miss the, you don't miss the gaff factor? I miss it. Like, I trust me. I miss it. I, I miss, want it I wasn't there. Factors. Like, my thing is... <laughs> <laughs> Like, there. gag factors was like, let's say London been gone for a little bit. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We ain't seen London in a while. Bitch, London came out for perfect tens, bitch. You get what I'm saying? Like, but we didn't see her all night. I'm talking about oh, nobody okay. knew London was in the oh, building right. mm-hmm. type shit. And then the whole house, you just see the whole house walking with somebody hidden. But certain bitch, people still like, follow that type of, like, trend. But certain it's people. rare. It's I have rare. to. My house. It's, yeah, it's, the juices do it. Honestly speaking, though, that's really it. A lot I of people, do it. Ollie does it. Like, mm-hmm. certain certain elite individuals still do that. Like, you know, everybody's not capable of doing that. But the, the thing about it is the outcome still going to be the outcome, though. No matter yeah. if you, no matter if you're there, no matter if you're hiding, the outcome still gonna be the outcome. But those are the moments. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I just missed that. I when just when they the like, when the crowds go from, mm-hmm. yeah, and like mm-hmm. you see it. Like, right. when do I, you feel like that's bigger than the grand prize? Of course. Mm-hmm. I always was, see that's I've always I've always said that though. Like the moments be more important yeah. than the grand prize. People go on the Kiki scene page and will say. Yo, this person carried, this person carried, this person carried, but this never person say, carried. Right. And they not talking about nobody that won, really. Right. Yeah, exactly. You get what I'm saying? So I've never been stuck on press for a win. I feel like yeah, I always tell either. that for everybody. You shouldn't be really? worried about a win. It's, it's entertaining. A, yeah, you, don't, you don't teach that in Mulan either. Yeah, it's, like, I don't know. Smiley, Smiley is very, the moment, the it's moment. The moment. Yeah. It's always about the moment. Like, that's definitely one thing that definitely instilled in me. It's me, about the moment. Me and my career, I just try to push my looks more and more every time I come out. Push my entrances, my moments bigger and bigger and bigger. Like, I don't really here about the trophy no about shame. the money i never walked for the money never um before we close i kind of want to make this uh last announcement i feel like we need to like talk about this furthermore next time but i want to talk about depression and anxiety mm-hmm. and stuff like that because um i wasn't here last week with y'all because i was going through it mm-hmm. bad um it's we're not glad to, you're here and you're better yeah, yeah um you. getting better getting better um, I, me coming outside this weekend was me like trying to like not be in a house and going yeah. through it. You right. get what I'm saying? Push through. Push through. And I would say as far as like me being around people that I care about and care about me, I had a great time. Right. Um, the club was lit. Lit. The bros was, was lit. Yes. The fights was tea. Like everything. Right. Lit. Everything was fab. But I do want to talk about depression because I feel like it's something that being that we have this platform, we really do need to start talking about these issues that are really affecting our community and not only our community our community but black men also Mm -hmm. um are suffering a lot more now the rate within black men are going up so it's like i feel like we really need to talk about it because a lot of people that we 
speak to on a daily basis, be going right. through things. I don't want to talk about it too much. I'm gonna start getting emotional again because. But it's okay. Shit is real. You know, it's okay to cry. Right. It's okay to let it out. Often. Right. It's okay to you know. It's okay to be vulnerable. vulnerable. Right. So anytime you feel like that, you could call me on my phone. Right. Yeah. But see, and I, w- I wish we had more time to talk about it because it's like. People don't understand that when you're in that state of mind, you don't want to talk to nobody right. because you don't know who you could trust. Right. Yeah. You don't know who can, who's gonna actually listen and not right. tell you that you're wrong and you're, you're this and you're that. Sometimes I just need an ear to listen. Well, to. Well, coming it. from someone who suffers with anxiety and you know occasional depression, you know, comes with the transition. Yes. I just feel like you know you have to put your pride aside and really find someone that you can really talk to and vent to. And I'm put like, yourself first, Lucius. You have to grip on to whatever makes you happy. Please grip on to that. You know, never substitute your happiness ever for no one else like you know if funny movies make you happy watch your funny movies oh my god I so like, wish we had more time like, to you know, talk you about you have things. to really like keep yeah. happiness yeah. around you keep good positive energy around you because if not you're gonna just go into this hole and you don't wanna be there we don't oh my wanna god. be there it, and you know it's crazy you say that cause it's like it's so hard because when you my depression is not blaming everybody else. Right. Mine is blaming myself for the things that I put myself in. Right. And that I can't control. It's a learning process. You're going to get out of it soon. But it, it, it's so Sometimes like... Sometimes you don't. And you don't. And it's like, I'm the you type just, of person... You like, get content with the dark cloud. And, and, and it, it really works for me sometimes because what I notice is when I'm to myself and I am going through my depression, I'm not in drama. I'm not bothering nobody. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm so focused on what's going on in here... I don't got time to argue with you or worry about what you said about me or care about this or care about that. Like, because I'm so worried about myself and hating myself and what do I don't like about myself and what is this making me feel like this? Like, and like I said, the comments and things that I see and things that I hear that people feel certain ways about me, you get what I'm saying? And it's like, I be always questioning, like, what about me does these people feel this way? Like, what am I doing that people don't like me or what am I doing that, you know? And it's like, I know I have my faults. I know I have my faults. I know what I can do to start it. But I feel like people sometimes don't see the things that they say to me that's hurtful. They they take it because I'm big mm-hmm. and because of how I look that I should be able to just brush it off my shoulder or take it with a grain of salt, as most people will say. Mm-hmm. And I'm human. I have mm-hmm. feelings just like the next person. Right. And it sucks because I can't express my feelings to people without people saying, like, you're being emotional, you're being sensitive, you're being... And it's like, now, if I should be able to tell you how you're making me feel without right. you looking at me because of this exterior. Right. Because if I was little and I was telling you that, you wouldn't say, oh, bitch, you're big, get over it. Mm-hmm. You wouldn't say, oh, you're a man, get over it. If it was a woman, y'all would take her feelings into consideration, some. So I have a question. How are you now expressing your feelings and telling people how you feel off jump? I always try to tell people how I feel, and that's where it goes left. You don't call me no more. Because, you, like like I said, it's in the point where I don't be knowing sometimes who I can trust sometimes. It's like, okay, though. It's like I can say, like, okay, maybe I can trust you, but I don't know if I can 100% trust you because I've had people, like, go and tell my business to somebody, not on some, like, messy shit, but just telling my business, you get what I'm saying? And I don't yeah. may not know that person like that. I may not want that person to know. People have bad spirits and prey on people's downfall. Troubled souls. And I don't, yeah. I Next already, week, I'm already, we're gonna really, yeah, we really gotta talk about it. Um, I know we gotta wrap it up. I just wanna say thank you so fucking thank much. Thank you so much, London. London, legendary queen mother, London. I love you. I love y'all. All around legend. Yes, yes. A all around. Yes. Um, I also wanna say before we go, would you take your all around femme queen in the kiki scene to mainstream? Yeah, I'm trying to. I've been talking to her about that. She keeps telling me no. Is there anything that we? Could... I did not tell you no. I asked you why you walk around and she said you don't feel like you run you uh, mainstream realness. I'm not mainstream realness. I don't. I don't. Oh right. my god. See, okay, so now this is the thing. This is the thing. This is the thing. London, London. You're coming back, <laughs> but on the way to no OTA one. for mm-hmm. me to say. Them big O. <laughs> Also, we out. Also, ladies, I just want to say once again, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe to the uh, the YouTube page at the OG Network, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure y'all 
support the Cash App. This shit is not free. Right. This definitely comes from the company. So right. please make sure that you support the company. Right. The company is the OG Network. This is the Harris Loud yeah. Podcast. And also, y'all, July 8th, my ball. I'm thankful that everybody got their shit out the way now can promote my right. shit. Please make sure y'all come out for the Hip Hop Honors Ball performance. The list, the teams for $1,000. The Realness teams for 500 And shout out to um, Tiana Telfar, who has made the list. She's now a team captain for my ball. I'm we, on a team. Yes, we also added two oh. surprise categories i was waiting to tell you this too the uh we added tag team legendary performance bring it as michael and janet give us the screen tour that we never got who are you fuffing about uh and then we also added regular realness male figures versus female figures biggie and kim male yeah. figures bring it as biggie female figures bring it as kim and y'all better not disappoint me we love y'all. Follow me on yes. everything at Yonsei Scott with two T's. Yes, and make sure right. y'all follow me at underscore Dear Karma Banks. Can't believe it. Two Y's. Jones with two S's underscore. And it's just Lundali. On everything? On, on everything. Ev- everything. On everything. everything. On, uh, including Cash App? 1020. <laughs> <laughs> Rip me out the plastic, bitch. I'm acting brand new. Yeah, no, no. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be I'm gonna be check. Yum, provide. Wax stop. Booty hole wax down. Rip me out the plastic, bitch. I'm acting brand new. What you said? Oh, big bar energy, right? He's like, Cardi. Rip me out the plastic, bitch. I'm acting brand new. Hi, Rain. All right, bye. Fuck y'all.